All right, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm coming to you talking about the eight options to stop a foreclosure. I've gotten a ton of requests and we're doing it on my walk because I haven't done my second workout for today. So I'm just taking a walk and you guys are gonna hear the options that I actually go over with homeowners when I schedule appointments. If you wanna hear exactly what I say on an appointment, like this video, comment down below so I know you guys like this sort of content. But today is strictly the eight options that we review when we arrive. So first thing that I usually do is set an upfront contract. Hey, this is who we are. This is what we need to know. And by the end of this appointment, our goal is to have a clear idea of what we're doing to stop the auction. Always set that upfront contract. I don't just go and say what's going on. I don't just go and start talking. I don't just go and let them start talking. You have to have some sort of framework. Nobody likes being left in the dark, right? So first things first, we go over a loan modification. You have to be current on all taxes. You can't have filed for a loan mod more than twice in the past year. And the mortgage companies are gonna be looking for you to be bringing proof of income for two to three times whatever the mortgage payment is. And after I go over some of that criteria, I'll say to the homeowner, is there any reason why this wouldn't work for you? And then the answer. Second option is a refinance. Hey, you must have equity in the property. The home has to be financeable. You know, roof less than 10 years old, HVAC good, no issues. You know, the home has to be in good condition. Um, and what's the other one? You know, credit. All this stuff is sort of, uh, sort of related to a refinance of the property. And I say, hey, is there any reason why that wouldn't work for you? Do you have equity in the home? And as I go through this, I'm, I'm picking up data. Are they making money? Do they have equity? And I could kind of get an idea of what could work for them. And if the, if the best thing for them to do is to sell the property, I'm structuring a deal, right, in my head as I'm going along. Third option is a bridge loan or hard money loan. And this is interesting because a lot of the foreclosures that I was working with over the past month got this. They found some investor that was willing to give them a loan. And I'll say, hey, some investor can catch up your arrears. You have to demonstrate your ability to pay back the loan. Typically it's with super high interest. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, someone can loan you money to pay your arrears and that will essentially stop the auction. That's option number three. Option number four is a short sale. Hey, this is if you have no equity, your house is upside down and it's severely upside down. So I went on an appointment, um, I don't know, maybe two or three days ago with a gentleman whose house was worth 288 and he owed to the mortgage company 356. And usually in this situation, this is when we're like, oh, sub two, sub two, sub two. And in this specific situation, it wouldn't work because he is, his arrears alone to reinstate the mortgage was 221. It just killed the deal. So in that situation, this, the short sale was the only thing that could possibly save his home. And this is where the value of being on my team comes in because not only do you see me present these options, you see the sales process that I walk them through. It's not just, hey, here are your options. Which one do you want to do? It's, it's a real negotiation. It's, it's seller psychology. It's all of that. So the people on my team, you can ask any one of them. All of them have told me after we come out of appointment, wow, like I would have never done that. I, don't, I would have never known to say that. I would have never asked the questions you asked. It's all about asking better questions. Talk less, ask better questions. So I think we're on number four, which was the short sale. Number five was listing is listing with an agent. Say, hey, this can take anywhere from 90 to you know 275 days. If you wanna get the most money out of your property and you have time, this is a good option for you. If your house is financeable, you have time and you wanna get the most money, list it on the market. I could connect you to a realtor. Is there any reason why this won't work for you? A lot of the ones that I'm working with now, they have auctions in 30 days. So it's like, obviously, I can't go and list it on the market right now. Option number six, we buy the house cash. Hey, this is a quick cash offer. It's not gonna be the best price, but it will get done quickly. You don't have to do any rehab to the property. And it's an as-is purchase. And likely, you'll walk away with some money in your pocket. If you have equity in the home right so that's option number six 
Um, option seven is we buy the house on creative finance. And I'll go, hey, this is when someone has little equity in the home. And then I'll tell a story. We helped Miss Sue. Miss Sue owed 300 on her mortgage. Our cash offer came in at 270 and it just wasn't enough. So what we ended up doing, we paid her arrears and took over her loan from there. We overpaid for the property, but we really wanted to get that auction stopped. We caught up her arrears and took over the loan from there. And the story helps. I don't always tell that story. I just came up with that right now. But um, the story helps explain the creative finance. And then I'll use that foundation of knowledge to explain a hybrid deal. So yeah, that was with Sue, but you know, we also helped Jimmy and Jimmy had some equity in his home and all these cash investors were giving him an offer way below. So we actually did a sub two, then we financed him his equity too. So I'll just, I'll just play around with stories like that to, to get the, the objective across, right? Of what I'm trying to show them. That's option seven, creative finance. Option eight, which is last and, and in my opinion, least is bankruptcy. And I'll start this conversation by saying, hey, listen, I don't recommend this to anyone. This is my least favorite option. That's why it's number eight. But if all else fails, bankruptcy will buy you more time. If all you need is time, bankruptcy can be a good option for you. It won't stop the auction. It won't stop the auction. It will only extend it because I've, I've seen plenty of people file bankruptcy and end up in the same situation, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days later. But this will stop the auction um, momentarily. And we'll go through all that. And because I set the upfront contract of, by the end of this appointment, we wanna have a clear picture. We don't just go through it and say, okay, well, thank you for coming. You know, I learned so much. We say, what's the next step? Wh which one do you feel most comfortable with? And you'll typically have action come from that. So these are the options that I go over on my appointments. And like I said, guys, there's a lot of other things that go into it. There's a sales process to it all. Um, and I do the same thing on every appointment. I, I make it systematic so that it could be replicatable. You know, if I broke my leg, I don't want that to stop me from making money. I could train someone else on exactly how to close these deals. So if you're in Atlanta and you want to learn about the stuff that I'm talking about right now, DM me on Instagram, Alexis J. Morgan. DM me deals. I'll teach you all of this. You have to start as a door knocker and I'll teach you acquisitions and we'll grow and grow and grow and grow. This thing's gonna be huge, working with Abraham on it. And uh, we have a really big vision for it. So it'll be awesome. If you're not in Atlanta, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification. I actually go live with my internal team trainings. I'll train you on how to go door knock, how to set appointments, and we could work together so that we could get some deals together, we could make some money together and go from there. So I go live Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Saturdays at 9 a.m. for my internal team training that you guys, I'll give you access to, I'll allow you to be a part of, and it'll be live. You can ask questions if you need and all that stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. These are the eight options to stop a foreclosure, to solve a foreclosure, to help your seller. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.